The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. Hey guys, Leon Mookie here, and today I'm going to be doing a new What If series. This is What If Izuku was trained by all the Shonen Jump protagonists. This is part zero, and allow me to explain about this What If. When I mean by all Shonen Jump protagonists, I'm talking about Shonen, Pro Shonen Jump protagonists that actually they're both their basically their manga has ended. With the story and everything already settled and all that stuff so yeah i'm not going to be doing shonen jump protagonists whose mangas who have ended so yeah that's not going so that so one piece is not going to one piece black clover and and possibly dragon ball is izuku's not going to be trained by goku luffy or asta so yeah plus there's also another thing no sports anime as well so yeah so kuroko's no basket haikyuu slam dunk prince of tennis all that st all those shonen series is not going to be in this e he's not going to be trained by them either and another thing Sh shonen jump protagonists who are born with a certain power that cannot be taught by anybody, uh, that cannot be learned by any of their other, other peers in their self-respected series will not be, Izuku will not be trained by them. Certain, only, only protagonists that had to learn the abilities and skills, techniques, and things that they've already had that can be learned by anyone or used by anyone, Izuku will be, learn, will be being taught by them. So yeah. And if you guys can't understand that, tough shit. I'm not explaining it again. So, with that said, let's get into this, guys. As we start on June 15th, the day that Izuku Midoriya is born and brought into this world. As Izuku, like, just before, Izuku had quite an okay childhood. Still idolized and looked up to heroes as any other child would in the world of my hair academia. As, soon, as one of his childhood friends, Gatsuki Bakugo, grew, actually awakened his quirk at the age of four, as Izuku is impressed and is, uh, and is hyped, as he looks forward to seeing what his quirk would be. At the age of five, he and his mom go to see to the quirk doctor, that being Dr. Yujio, as he as Dr. Yujio tells him that Izuku is diagnosed with a quirk. However, they have no idea what his quirk is or what it can do. Not only that, they haven't seen any symptoms of the quirk manifesting yet. Even though it's even though he most likely ha even though it shows that he does have one. As they're as Inko and Izuku saying, but I do have a quirk, right? It's just gonna have, I just have to wait and it shows itself. I look forward to it. As the years go by, his quirk has never manifest, not one bit. Throughout this time, people began even believing that Izuku is quirkless, that he has no quirk, even though he tells everyone he does. He does, but most of them don't. Not even Bakugo, his own friend, believes him anymore. As the years go by, Izuku began getting bullied, beat, beaten, and also taunted for not having a quirk. Or as his life begins going down a spiral. As at the age of 12, his he begins feeling frustrated, hatred, annoyance, but not at everyone that has taunted him or basically bullied him, but to himself. 
that he hasn't awakened his quirk, that he's that he's so annoyed with himself that he hasn't done anything or tried anything to awaken his quirk as he screams out, why? Why does the why me? I they said I was born with a quirk and yet nothing. Nothing. Why? Damn it, why? As he screams out and reach and reaches his hand and thrusts a fist into the sky. Soon after, a blue portal opens as he wonders, what what just happened? As he soon gets up and soon comes through and soon the portal moves moves right down right next to Izuku as he wonders what is this what's going on here could this be my quirk as he soon puts his hand through the blue portal as soon after it feels like something is sucking him in as he does he gets thrust into a wide field into a wide forest area with a path and it's being nighttime as he wonders what's going on as he tries his best to figure out what's going bigger as he looks at the surrounding areas thinking wait this is Japan I'm still in Japan right is my quirk a teleportation as he looks at a couple of houses that look old-fashioned and thinks maybe I could as he as soon after the portal begins to close as he screams out wait no 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 don't don't and then just like that it's gone as he begins what no how am I supposed to get back home now how as soon after easy uh Izuku hears things going in around him as he wonders what what is that as he see, as soon tons of footsteps all around him as he thinks is anyone there please i need help as not only that they begin coming out as it looks like a monster as he screams out crying for help a boy wielding a sword being a black katana and a green komodo and having a box on his back as he cuts the monster as he cuts all three of the monsters heads off easily as he thinks wait did is he a hero or is he a villain or possibly a vigilante as the, as he looks at as he looks at his at the one who saved him being a being a black red-haired boy as he tells him are you okay can you walk are you hurt anywhere is he and soon izuku looks into the boy's eyes saying thank you and who are you as he says my name is tanjiro tanjiro kato as he looks at the boy and sees that he doesn't look as old as he is, possibly 15 or maybe even 16 years old, as Izuku is, is thanking him for saving him. Think may, possibly he might be a vigilante, as, he's, as Tanjiro is saying, vigilante? Uh, I'm not a vigilante, but as he as soon after three, two other voices began coming up behind Izuku and Tanjiro as one of them sounding like a whiny kid and the other sounding like an sound, sounding like a loud obnoxious voice as Izuku looks back seeing one of them being a blonde haired boy with a with an orange kimono and the other being a boy with a boar head with a boar mask and my, and quite muscular as Iz one as Izuku begins screaming looking at the one one with the boar mask as the gut as that being Inosuke as he screams out what the hell are you talking kid shut up I'm human 
As Inosuke saying, yeah, even though he doesn't act like it though, is even as Inosuke saying, shut the hell up, Zenitsu, you bastard. As he, as Tanjiro tries calming both of them down, as soon after, while doing so, he asks Izuku if he knows where he lives, as he tells him that he lives in Masafu City. As Izuku asks Masafu, I've never heard of that place before in Japan. As he, as Tanjiro even asks Zenitsu since he li- lives in the city. And before, as he tells him, nope, never have. As he knows, case also saying the same as Zenitsu tells him, you never even, you've never even been around the city before, you bore mask wearing idiot. As he's, as Tanjiro thinks, are you sure that's where you're from? As Izuki saying, yeah, it's possible. I mean, but the way that you both are, all of you're wearing. You almost look like you're during the past. Uh, it's almost like I'm in the past or something. As they, as all three of them saying past, as they even look at Izuku's clothes, as they look like he looks like he's from the city, but not at the same time. Is that a uniform or something? As Izuku says, well, yeah, I'm a middle. I go to junior high. I just started junior high just about three months ago, so as they both saying junior high, as Izuku realized, yeah, I'm definitely in the past, or at least somewhat round during the past, as they as Izuku tries to explain the situation and asks if they have quirks or anything like that, as they wonder what are quirks, as Tanjiro wonders if it's like breathing concentration as Izuku wanted to ask what breathing concentration is as they all begin as both Izuku and Tanjiro begin explaining what about their respect about things as soon after as putting two and two together Izuku finds out that he's in a world where demons roam the night and a secret organization where called de- called the demon slayers slay these monsters and protect humanity from the shadows as izuku thinks it's like underground heroes vigilantes wor- working to protect the people as he begins feeling stars in his eyes as soon after tanjiro oh, basically has taken a liking to izuku even though they're demon slayers and they have a mission to do and soon after, for the time being, they head to HQ where, he's, where Tanjiro and the others take Izuku and explain themselves to the, the Hashiras and the Onokai, especially, especially the Hashiras that are still alive, because this takes place almost nearing the end of Demon Slayer, before the battle with Muzan and the remaining 12 Kozuki as they hear Izuku's story and tell and he tells them everything about where he's from and about quirks they don't believe him even believe that he may be a demon in human in a human guise but Tanjiro well basically stands up for him even saying that demons tried to attack him while the before, while he's while they were heading to HQ after all not only that, even Zenitsu basically stands up for Izuku as well because his hearing isn't that like that of a demon. And even Inosuke, who basically has who's become close friends with both Tanjiro and, and Zenitsu, also steps in to help help them out, even though he doesn't truly trust Izuku yet. As they all hear this and trust and trust in their words as he as they wonder what they would do with Izuku as Izuku wants to figure out a way to work his quirk and find a way to get back home I'm gonna stop right here for a bit and say about and going to explain Izuku's quirk his quirk is called dimensional 
he's able to travel to alternate dimensions of Earths and worlds that are in the Shonen Jump universe. So almost all the mangas that have finished at all. So yeah. And since Demon Slayer, one of the big three of this of this year, has en- has currently ended. So yeah. It, now with that taken care of. During this time, while Izuku keeps on trying to figure out his quirk and how he can make the portal again, he asked if he could do some training with Tanjiro and even Inosuke and Zunitsu. As Tanjiro actually agrees and wanting to help out Izuku defend himself. Even though he's not a truly official demon slayer, he just want, he wants to try and help, help him out a bit. As he, as he's asked, as he takes up a regular katana and base and does multiple training, as they go to a nearby mountain range, which it, which is how he's how T- Tanjiro was trained by Odo Karaki during his time. So yeah, as he goes through almost the same training as Tanjiro went through during his time except having to cut through the boulder things which took him almost a year and a half to do so yeah other than that he learned breathing te- he learned the water breathing technique from well Tanjiro at being all of its forms which Izuku did struggle with from time to time but with Tanjiro's guidance and motivation he was able to learn all the forms and also if feeling a little bit worried he also thanks to Tamiyo he was also able to teach he's Tanjiro also knows about sun breathing as well so he does take he, so he does teach Izuku that of sun of sun breathing too but only three forms though since not even Tanjiro has fully mastered sun breathing yet. But even so, Izuku's mastery of, bre- of breathing concentration is done well and has took him, him almost a year or so. Soon after, he was allowed to have a Nichiri blade, a color changing katana, as they wonder what his Nichiri color would be, and that would be. Act, well, to be if you haven't guessed, it's green. So yeah, as they as they're not surprised actually, given that he does have quite a bright aura to to him anyway, even though he is a bit spazzy and shy. Izuku is thankful to Tanjiro for everything that he has taught him for almost a year, and yes, Izuku is now thirteen and since it did take him a year to do all his training for breathing concentration for both water breathing and sun breathing as he's even even if he does end up staying here he would do anything to help out his master and his comrades as even though he is no official demon slayer but Tanjiro believes that Izuku deserves to go back home that he needs a fat that he needs to be there for his family and friends as Izuku tells him that he doesn't really have any friends but he Tanjiro does understand of when, especially about his mom who might who's most likely worried about him which soon after a portal soon his quirk soon activates as a blue portal opens right be, right behind both Izuku and Tanjiro as he as Izuki saying, "This is it. This is the portal I went through about a year ago." As he te- as Tanjiro saying, "Well, I think you should go." As saying, "But Tan- Master Tanjiro, what about you? Have a home to go to, and there are still things I need to finish. So go and live your life." As Izuki bows and even cries. That one, that there was one person that believed in him, even though he didn't have any control over his quirk, Tanjiro gave him a fighting chance, and soon 
Izuku walks through the gate, which he soon arrives right in the same spot that he was going back home. As he soon, as he soon thinks, wow, that was crazy. As he soon goes back, as he heads home and still carrying his Nichiri katana, as his mom was basically begins bawling like a baby and so many tears as Izuku saying, Mom, I'm sorry for, as she runs up to hug her son, saying that she was so worried about him. As he's, as he's saying, yeah, I'm sorry. I guess being gone for a year can do that to make you worry so much. As she say, a year? Izuku, you've been gone for only two weeks. As Izuku saying, two weeks? Well, but how? I mean, I was gone for all world, almost a, a year in another world where demons and the demons come out at night. And as he begins freaking out like cr t crazy, telling about everything that he's gone through, as she, as he soon explains that he awoke in his quirk, being feeling frustrated and soon sent to the world of Demon Slayer. As the police have been, as she began explaining that she was worried about him and that he hasn't returned. And soon after, even the police got involved. Soon after, the search was called off. As she explained that Izuki was around, even explaining the situation about his quirk. That he was able to travel to another, another dimension, another world. As some of them believe that a quirk like that is insane, and some even don't believe him at all. But they do see the katana on Izuku and the kimono that he was that he was wearing during his training with Tanjiro. And no, he doesn't have a demon slayer outfit, so yeah. As he tries to open another gate, it mostly he still can't. But for one second, he created a small por a small portal, but still, but it wasn't big enough to walk through like he normally could. As Izuku, he after this, he, every time Izuku goes back to school and everybody begins wondering what he's what he's done. Even Bakugo was wondering, "Hey, Deku, where the hell you've been? What did you try running away, thinking that?" Thinking that you can wake, work your quirk, as Izuku saying, "Yeah, I did awaken my quirk, Ka Kachan, and even though I still haven't able to control it, I plan on getting stronger, and I'm no longer the same person I used to be. Just letting you know, Kachan." As he soon walks to his desk, and is Bakyo saying, "What the hell, Deku?" As he as he tries to. Hit as he tries get, putting his hand on his shoulder, Izuku was able to dodge easily and was able to walk to his desk without any, without every wise surprise. Wait, did he just dodge Bakugo? As Bakugo getting more and more frustrated and was about to hit him with explosions, that's when their teacher came in. As the day goes by, Izuku realized if I've been gone for almost two weeks, and I've been in, I've been in another world for almost an entire year, I wonder, as he, when he was in the Demon Slayer, and where he was in the world of Demon Slayer, his appearance did change. That he was at least an, an like a one, an inch taller in while training with Tanjiro, but when he arrived back into well. The world into the original into his original world, the world of My Hero Academia. He went back to normal, but his but his training and everything, and even the breathing concentration, he can still do without any hesitation. As that he loses the body, but not the skills and the abilities that he's learned. As he think, as he soon thinks, hmm. When as next. For the next week, next month, during it will be summer break for Izuku. For an entire month, he would have the chance to train, to go to try and work his quirk 
for at least three days straight. He goes to an abandoned beach with tons of trash, being dig of a beach, hoping that there's a way for him to open to use his quirk, as he tries so much, and soon feeling frustrated. That's when he begins to awaken his quirk. It, another portal, one that he can even walk through, can go through, as he believes, yes, I did it. Maybe I can go and see. Ma See how Master Tanjiro was able to defeat Muzan. As he walks through the gate, he doesn't he doesn't go to the world of Demon Slayer this time. But instead, he arrives at some somewhere that looks like Greece actually, where a temple of that of a goddess was soon stands in front of him. As he thinks, this isn't the Demon Slayer HQ. Instead, where am I? As he wonders, as soon, soon after, he hears uh, somebody yelling to him saying, Hey you, what are you doing here? This place is sacred grounds. And tourists like you shouldn't be here. As, he's, as he looks, wait, what? Uh, oh, I didn't know. I just arrived here and... As he looks at the man that looks like he's almost the same age as him, but a lot more taller, as he as he tells him, "Look, this place is sacred to those who want to become saints, and is protected by the goddess Athena. If you people, I don't, I know that you're curious. Some people are curious about this place, but you must leave." As he's saying, "Saints, uh, what are saints?" As he's saying, saints are the knights of Athena, of the goddess Athena, and my name is Seiya. I'm this, I'm the Pegasus saint, a bronze saint. As Izuku thinks, so I must have traveled to another dimension where gods exist? I'm guessing gods exist? As he begins muttering to himself quite a bit, as Seiya begins feeling Ah, uh, you're really annoying me. Seiya walks up to Izuku and tries to grab him. As Izuku dodges his, his gra grabbed him before he could even touch him. As he is saying, whoa, that's a pretty good reflex. As he, th as he, as Izuku saying, I'm not just some regular kid. I've been through quite a bit of training myself. And to be honest, so, so as Seiya thinks, hm, he's no regular kid, huh? Well then, as Seiya grabs Izuku's arm and puts it behind, puts it behind him, as Izuku tries using con breathing concentration and was able to and was able to focus his body and flip behind Seiya, as Seiya thinks, whoa, he really is something, as. Se as Izuku was about to punch Seiya, Seiya was eight what just left his field of motion as saying, Wait, what? As he chops it, as Seiya saying, Sorry, but I need you to take a little nap for a bit. As Seiya chops Izuku on the back of his neck, knocking him out as he passes out. Soon after, Izuku wakes up and, Se and soon he's appeared in front of not just Seiya, but also a few, a few others, and a, wom and a woman that's behind all of them, as he's saying, wait, where am I? What's going on? As he begin, as sh soon after, the woman with purple hair soon says, don't fear, Seiya says that you're quite strong. Tell me, are you... Are you have any interest of becoming a saint? As Izuku saying, a saint? Look, I'm not trying to become a saint. I was originally trying to go to my master, Tanjiro's world, but it seems I was able, I went to a different world instead. As Seiya saying, yeah, I heard you muttering that. It's like you believe that you went to another world. As Seiya began laughing, thinking that's impossible. As soon after, Saori soon says, "He, I don't think he's lying. 
I can tell I can tell within his voice he's being honest and he means it. As say I think that's insane. Even a couple of his friends being Shiryu, Hyoga, Shun, and even Iki believe that's impossible. As Izuku explained his situation, that he's from a world where, pe where people have superhuman abilities called quirks. And that's basically being 80% of the human population. After hearing this, Saori, or should I say the goddess Athena, believes him because, they're n because she can tell that he really isn't from their world. But he does have the potential of having a strong Cosmo, as Seiya thinks. <laughs> Even if he isn't from another world, I can tell that he's a good kid. And not only that, all of his attacks weren't made to hurt me. As, as Izuku's saying, I, d I just wanted to explain things. I just, I didn't want to hurt you, so. So I was going for more of a body seducing kind of thing as he's, as Shiryu saying, hmm, if that's the case, and if Athena believes that he, that he means no harm, and I believe we should train him if he, if he allows it, as Hyoga thinks, maybe so, I believe so too. And Miss Saori says that he has a strong Cosmo. I believe that he deserves to know, know that, mo that much, as even, even Seiya agrees, wanting to see what he can truly do. As Izuku ex want, wants to get stronger, if he can't be in the world, if he can't be in Tanjiro's world, then being in this world, the world of Saint Seiya, the Knights of the Zodiac, is, is just as good. As he begins working his body even more and possibly even harder than he has when he was training with Tanjiro, working not just alongside Seiya, but also his friends, where Seiya teaches him the way of the, of the Pegasus Saint, where he learns his iconic moves, such as, the meteor, such as the Meteor Punch, where he can hit a person multiple times with just a singular punch, and even the fel and even the move that he was taught by his teacher, Marin, being the comet drop. A drop being a flying drop kick where all where their cosmo is pointed into their into went to one point, just like the meteor punch. Even learning ways of the even the seven cents where they were Izuku burned his cosmo to to its limits. Becoming e ways of even more supernatural, supernatural fighting styles than he never had before. Thinking that this is even more difficult than breathing concentration that he did under Tanjiro. It, but even so, he still pushes through. Even with his with him learning, with learning breathing concentration from Tanjiro, his body is a lot more accumulated to. To his Cosmo, and can even feel it faster than he normally could. As soon, just like before, it take it takes him almost an entire year. Even though he hasn't fully mastered his Cosmo, he still has it to a pretty good degree. Even though he hasn't mastered the Seven Sense yet. With that, Izuku is pretty has done well, as he thinks that if he stays any longer. He might, he might worry people even more, even his mother, S since, but over time, when he didn't, but when he wasn't training, he began figuring out how to use his quirk more effectively, realizing that his quirk is tied to his emotions, the emotion of frustration, of feeling powerless, unable to awaken his full potential. That is how he's able to awaken his quirk awake use his quirk to travel between portals with the help of Miss Sauri, the goddess Athena. She was able to help him awaken his quirk to use his quirk more easily. However, 
seeing that it's a physical, that it's physical, that she's unable to help with all of its well limitations, being that his quirk basically transports him to an alternate, to another shonen world randomly, so he won't always be at the, the world that he wants to be. He'll just keep going to another world instead of the world that he wants. That will be his only limitation. That's in a small chance he won't go to the world that he wants and always ends up in a new one instead. As Yuzuki is thankful that now he has a more understanding of his quirk. Even though that he may never see the, 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 the saints of Athena anymore. Or even see his master, Seiya, who he sees his more as a big brother figure. He's still thankful for everything that he's do- that they've done for him. And that he'll train even harder to even master the seventh sense to boost his cosmo to its peak. As Seiya is, is, think- is great and is happy to see his, see his student. The one that he sees as his younger brother has come so far. And Izuku heads back home. As he soon soon after he get, as he brings out his phone and realizes that he has multiple calls from his mother because he didn't have cell service once he got back. So as he soon expl- as he already explained that he was gonna try and figure out his quirk and possibly may be gone again for the next two weeks or so. As soon after, he can feel, he can even though his body has gone back to normal, he can still feel the cos, the cosmo that he awoken in his body, and even tries out the meat, say as meteor punch onto one of the, on the garbage that's in Dagobah Beach. As soon as soon as he does, all the garbage that was in front of him is gone instantly just like that as Izuki thinks wow even so I can still he still he has breathing concentration and the power of cos and his Cosmo awakened so he can still feel like there's still more horizons still more worlds out there where he can learn even more and begin becoming even stronger Possibly even stronger than All Might. So now, from now on, he'll begin getting stronger. Stronger and even more stronger. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I really am going to enjoy making this series. However, I may, it may be a while until I release the next part being part one. The reason being, I need to do my research on the series of all the protagonists uh, of Shonen Jump. So it may take me at least a month or two until the, until the next part comes out. Until then, I hope you enjoy yourselves. At any rate, this is Leon Mookie, signing out. Later.